Welcome to this video series in which you get to watch me over the shoulders as I build a funnel using one of the best funnel builders out there, which is ClickFunnels. You're going to watch me build a squeeze page, a sales page, and a thank you page. And hopefully you'll see how easy and powerful it is to use ClickFunnels. So let's dive right in and I'll see you in the next video. So here I am in my ClickFunnels account and I'm going to click on add new to create a new funnel. And I'm presented with two options here, Cookbook Builder Process and Classic Funnel Builder. The cookbook Builder Process, uh, what this means is that if you choose this, you could explore different types of funnels and pre-done funnels and basically find the right funnel for your business. And the other option here is a classic funnel builder, which is just to create a new funnel from scratch. So instead of looking for a pre-done funnel that I could use for my business, I'm just going to create a new funnel from scratch. So I'm going to click on here, create a new funnel. And now I get to choose the goal, or they're asking me what my goal is. So my goal here, let's just see the options here, to collect emails, sell a product, a host webinar. Uh, my goal is mainly to sell a product. I'm, I may want to collect emails too, but I'm going to go with this one, sell your product. Okay, now I'm being asked what type of funnel, a sales funnel, uh, which it says here to sell your products after collecting leads with a squeeze page or a product launch, sell your product in a launch sequence with video pages or a membership, sell your content with a membership that you can charge for. And I'm going to go with the first one here, sales funnel. Now I'm going to create a name for this funnel and here it says select group tag. I'm just going to skip that for now and click on build funnel. And there you go. Now as you can see here, I have the pages for my funnel and the next step is to choose the templates. So now that we've got a funnel structure to work with here, let's start selecting the templates. And the first one we're going to select a template for is the first page which is our squeeze page. So here's some templates that we can choose and you can preview them by just clicking on the preview here. So for the first one here let's click on preview and I'll skip this template. Let me keep looking for a template that'll suit my needs here. Okay so this is nice simple and short. I think I'm gonna go with this one here. So I'm gonna select the templates And there you go. So in the next video, I'm going to go ahead and edit the content and the copy on this squeeze page. In this video, I'm going to edit the squeeze page that I've just selected. I'm going to click on edit page. Let's just read what it says on this current template. It says free video exposes how one newbie banked 11,000 in two days with no prior knowledge. Okay, so this is the headline. And then here is the text telling Let's just read it. Sign up now and get the exact same strategy that one kid used to transform his entire life. Okay, so this is where the, this is the call to action, I believe. Fill out the form below to get your free video sent. And get this now. Funnels. Okay, so here's the copyright information. You could so edit that. I'm not going to edit this part here for now. I'm going to edit the, the headline and the other important parts of this squeeze page. So let me just go to my Word documents here where I pasted some of the information that I want on my squeeze page. So I'm just going to select this and paste my headline. So my headline is the ultimate checklist that will show you how to quit your day job and earn a full-time income online. Now let me just fix this up a little bit. Maybe I just have to reduce the font. There. Okay, so now the call to action. Let me see if I have a call to action. And yes, I do. So I'm just gonna paste it onto here. Okay, and let me just edit this call to action a little bit. It doesn't really look that good. Claim your free checklist. Enter your name and email to get instant access to grab this checklist. Okay.
So I'm going to select bold. Maybe I'm going to increase the font size a little bit. And change the color of the font. So text color, bold color. Because I've selected bold, it's become red. So let me just change the bold color here to black. Okay, and as I make these changes, I click on save. Okay, here it says fill out the form below to get your free video sent straight to you. So let me just replace video with checklist. Okay, and I want to change the image on here. So what we have here, this looks like a, a tablet of some sort. So I'm just going to just click on this and where it says image I'm just gonna click on here these are all the images that I've uploaded and I'm gonna do a search for something more appropriate so I type in checklist here and this is what pops up here and just to let you know all these images are copyright free so let's go ahead and choose this one here and it says here to double click on image to upload to your image library. So I'm going to double click on that. Okay, and then I'm just going to go ahead and add the image. Okay, so it has been added and again I'm going to save it. And the last thing I'm going to do is to integrate my autoresponder into the squeeze page. So basically when potential subscribers enter the information and click on and get this now and it will be subscribed to my list so to do that you just go to settings and click on integrations okay and then you select your autoresponder so in my case it's get response action add to campaign and then from here you would just select a list and for now I'm gonna skip this since this is just a demo okay and again I like to save I like to save often as I'm making changes or just even if I'm not making changes I like to continually save just to be safe now let's go ahead and preview the squeeze page okay so it looks good I'm happy with it and I'm gonna move on to the next step now let's work on the sales page so first thing we're gonna do again just like with the squeeze page we're gonna select a template and let me just browse through here Simple clean classic sales letter page preview it just to make sure it's something that I'd want okay I think I'll go with this so I'm gonna go ahead and select templates and there you go so it's pretty easy now in the next video I'm gonna go ahead and add my sales copy to this template in this video, I'm going to input my sales copy onto my sales page template. I'm going to click on edit page. Before editing, I'm going to take a look at the entire sales page template here. Okay, so let's get started here. First thing I'm going to put here is my headline. So I'm going to go to my Word document, and my headline is Internet Marketing Expert Reveals How to Earn a Full-Time Online Income in Just One Year. Paste that onto here. Now to make this stand out more, I'm going to change the color of the font. Now for whatever reason the color of the font's not changing. So I'm gonna try to create a new headline here, see if that works. I never had this problem before, but so I'm just gonna create a new element in here. And again, I'm gonna paste that my headline onto here. And let's see what happens. Text color white. 
and there you go so that works I'm going to delete this one here so to delete I'm just going to click on this garbage icon here actually I shouldn't have deleted that because I do have a pre-headline let me just go here my pre-headline is are you still struggling to work from home and not have to worry about commuting to work so what I'll do is I'm gonna clone this okay and I'm gonna put my pre-headline here let me just copy this and let's just decrease the font size And maybe change the color of the font. And my headline, it seems like the font size is a little too small, so I'm going to increase the font size. And now I'm going to click on save. And now it's asking me to change the SEO metadata. So let me just quickly edit this here for now. And again, I'm going to click on save. I don't have a sales video for the sales page, so I'm going to delete this sales video here. And again, click on save. I actually have another headline here. This is a sub headline. So let's copy this. Click on add new element. And I'm going to choose sub headline. Make this bold. And maybe I'll change the color of the font to something different. And now I'm going to click on save. The next thing that I want to add to the sales page is this text right here that's right underneath the headline. And this text here is where I highlight the problems that my customers may be having. So let me just quickly read it here. It says, trying to end your struggle with finding the right online business opportunity, blah, blah, blah. And it says here, stress may have already gotten the best of you. Maybe you have spent hours searching the internet for opportunities. And it ends with, and they all left you with frustrating results. So this section right here, I'm gonna put onto the sales page. So this is what I just completed. I've put this headline here and underneath that, on this template, there's a button here uh, where it says, yes, I want instant access now. So there's a buy button here. And this actually looks good. And I think I'm going to, instead of just deleting it, removing it, I'm going to keep it there for now. And I'm just going to create a new section here. So I'm just going to click here, add new section. And now I'm going to add a new row and make it one column. Okay, add new element. And instead of selecting headline, I could go with paragraph. Or let's see, text area. And I think I'll go with paragraph. Now I'm gonna go back to my Word document. Copy the first couple of sentences. Okay, and just increase the font size. 
I'll make a 22. Okay. And the next thing I'm going to paste on here are the bullet points. So uh, I'm going to click on Add New Element. And instead of selecting Paragraph, I'm going to go to a Bullet List. Okay, let me see if I just if I could just copy and paste all the bullet points onto here. No, you can't. Okay, so I'm just gonna do it individually. Let me just do it again here. Okay, and I believe you should be able to change the icons here. So instead of just a check mark, if you want, you could change it to something else. So let me just uh, see if I can do that here. List type, icon list. I can make it an ordered list. So one, two, three. But if I go to icon list, maybe I could go to themes and I could change the look. So if I select this, let's see what happens. And there you go. So this one looks a lot better. I'll go with this. And if I go to advanced, let's see what my options are here. I guess you could pick these icons, but you know, I'm just going to skip this for now. I don't want to take too long showing you how to put some bullet points on the sales copy here. And let me just increase the size of the font. And the last thing to add is the last sentence of this section. So I'm going to add new element, paragraph, and just paste the sentence onto here, and just format it. And there you go. So when I'm done that, just click on save. So far I've placed headlines at the top of the sales page and I've placed a section here where I talk about the problems that my potential customers may have had. And now the next section is where I'm going to introduce myself and talk about uh, the success that I've had. So this button right here, I'm not going to delete it yet. For now, I'm just going to move it. So. I'm just going to drag this down and also drag, well it says here no worries we have a 30 day money back guarantee, sure I'll just uh, drag this down as well, I'll move it below the, um, that button. Okay, so from here, this is where you could put your picture, and to do that, I'll just quickly show you how. You just click on this, where it says image, and then you would add image, but I've already shown how to add an image, so I'm going to cancel that. Uh, one thing you could do is you could go to advanced, and you could change the layout, so instead of having your image first and the text, you could have it reversed and have the text and then the image. Okay, but let's just put it back to the default. So there's quite a few things you could do here. You, for the image radius, you could add a circle. I think it's already a circle, or you could add round corners or just have nothing on there. So let's say you want round corners. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, so it's basically a rectangle. Okay, you could have a border, you could have a shadow. Let's skip that for now. And let's just edit the content here. So Let's just say my name is John Doe, 
and here you could put your qualifications and I'm just gonna change the font size Okay, and I'm just going to go to my sales letter draft here. Okay, so the headline for this section is, but there is good news. So maybe I should add a headline here. I'm just going to clone this. And then I'm going to add a headline. And let's see what that headline is again, but there is good news. Okay, and then I'm just going to delete this section up here. And then I'm just going to replace this text. So I'll just go back to the sales page here, or the draft. I'm just going to copy that. Go here, and paste that onto here. And just format it. Okay, and save it for now. So now let's go back to our Word document and let's see what's next. Okay, so I see that there's just going to be quite a few more paragraphs and sub-headlines that I'm going to have to put onto the sales template. And I've already shown you how to put in the headlines and paragraphs. So rather than recording all this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop recording and I'm going to put all these paragraphs and headlines in. And then in the next video, I'm going to record myself putting in the testimonials. All right, so I've just finished transferring over some of the headlines and paragraphs from my Word document. And now I'm at the section where I'm going to be putting testimonials. So with this sales page template, uh, they already have a section for you uh, to put your testimonials and the picture of the person giving the testimonial. All right, so let's start with the testimonial headline. Just go to my Word document and the headline is, you don't have to take my word for it. So I just paste that onto here, click save. And I'm going to transfer these sentences onto here. Okay, so basically it says, I've already slipped the secret to select group of people, blah, blah, blah. Let me just format this here. And click save. Okay, so the first testimonial, I'm going to put in the person's name, testimonial giver's name. Let's just call her Julie. Jackson and her testimonial let's just say will be product is awesome now of course this is just a demo I'm not actually going to be selling this product so these are just fake testimonials this is just for demonstration purposes okay now if we go here well let's just we could just click on the entire box here or click on this icon here and you could change the image and by now you should know how to change the image as I've shown it already and you could also go to advanced and you could change the layout let's say from text image to image text so I've already shown that for the introductory section but let's just put it back to the default okay I'm gonna click on save and again here Okay, now it looks like the testimonial actually goes here. So, let me just edit this part here. 
product is awesome okay and I guess under the name I'll just put uh, their occupation okay so product is awesome and now for the next person's testimonial I learned a lot and his name is Ted Smith public speaker click on save now I'm just going to increase the font so by now if you've been watching these videos you can see that using click funnels is very easy okay so that's it for the testimonial section and let me just see what I have to do next after this okay so after the testimonials it's just more headlines and paragraphs which you should already know how to do I've shown that in my previous videos so I'm not going to record myself doing that and in the next video after I've done adding these without recording myself um, in the next video I'm going to show you let's see here I'll just show you adding the buy button and I think that will be the last thing I will show you for this sales page but we will see okay but for now let me work on the next paragraphs and headlines and I'll see you in the next video as I said in the previous video I was going to add more paragraphs and headlines to the sales page template without recording it because you've already seen me do it so I don't want to be too repetitive here but anyhow I've just finished adding all the text that I need for this sales page okay and the last thing I have to do here is the buy now buttons which I want to talk about in this video and so I'm gonna be using the buttons that came with this template just for this demonstration of course if you want to use your own buy now buttons you could do that um, so let's just take a look at this one let's if I wanted to add a link to this click on that and you could go to set action and you could either you have a few options from here you could go to the next step in the funnel so if you have an order form for example if you click on if you choose this the customers will be brought to the order form if you have an order form in your funnel um, you could also go to a website URL so if you're using another platform such as Wire Plus or JVZoo you could enter the URL to the checkout page on those websites okay you could also do a Facebook opt-in or you could open a pop-up or you could go here and select submit order so basically when they click the button it's going to submit the order and and in order for an order to be submitted you need to go to the settings here and click on general and where it says on submit go to and you could enter uh, the URL of the checkout page if you're using a different platform now if you want to use a different button what you could do is you could delete this and you just click on any of these things here where it says add new element and you could go to add an image okay click on that and then you would just choose your image from here you could upload it and then you would enter the link URL down here okay another alternative is to add new element and instead of selecting image you could go to button and then just click on button and you could edit uh, this button right here so you could edit the text on there uh, you could set the action again similar to this order button right here now let's take a look at the other buy now buttons this would be the same thing you just set the action here and there's a link here where it says click here to add this for only thirty seven dollars so this is not a button what you could do here is just click on that and click on this little pencil icon here and you could add the URL link right here now that I've completed the sales page I'm gonna go on to the next page which is the thank you page or the download page but before I do that I just want to quickly show you the other pages I have here that I'm probably not going to use okay there's an order form and order confirmation of course 
you may use this for your business, but I'm not going to use it because, well, usually I use a different platform for selling products online, such as Warrior Plus or JVZoo. Now, if you decide to go with the order form, which is the next funnel step here, or if you don't, you could just click on the X to delete it. But let me just show you what they look like. So if you click on the order form here, you'll be presented with some templates that you could choose from. So let's just take a look at this one here. Preview. Okay, so if you had an order form, your customers would just fill out their information here. Okay, let's close this. Now let's take a look at the order confirmation. So this is where customers are brought to after they pay. And again, if you don't want this, you could just click on X to delete it, or you could go ahead and use it. I'm not going to use it because again, I use a different platform and customers are just auto automatically brought to the confirmation page of those platforms. But if you decide to use these ones here, again, you have templates and let's look for a template that you could use. Click on preview. So basically it says thank you. And it looks like your typical confirmation page. Okay, so I'm going to close that. And in the next video, I'm going to go ahead and create uh, the thank you page, which is the next step here. Another thing too, if you want to create another page, you want to add another page to your funnel, you could go here. Click on add new step. So you could do that. Type in the name of the funnel step. And you could choose to have it shown in the funnel or not in the funnel. Okay, so let's just create one just for this demonstration here. Okay, and now you have a page called a demo page. I'm now going to create the thank you page for the product that's been purchased. In this funnel, you're going to need two thank you pages. One thank you page for the people who opt in the squeeze page for the free gift. And you need a thank you page for people who purchase the product. I'm not going to show you the process of creating a thank you page for the free gift because it's pretty much the same thing. Not the same thing, but it's similar. You just go to opt-in and you just click on thank you and you could choose any of these templates here. So for example, let me just show you a template I would choose for a thank you page for the free gift. And I see that there's a lot more templates here for the free gift option. Uh, let's just take a look here, preview this one. Congratulations, you're on your way to success. What's next? Check your email for the video link. Okay, so this looks like a nice thank you page. Uh, let's just close that. Let's take a look at one more before I move on and work on the thank you page for purchased product. Okay, so this is a nice looking one here. Okay, so let's close this and let's get started working on the thank you page for the purchased product. And I'm just going to scroll through here. And this is actually one of my favorite templates right here, the arrow thank you page. And I'm just going to select preview so you can take a look here. And what I like is that there are steps and then under these underneath each step there is uh, aside from a call to action, there is a link that you could put in there and also a button uh, if you want to do that as well. So I'm going to choose this. I'm going to click on the select templates. Okay, and now that it's in my funnel, I'm going to go ahead and edit the content on this template. So I'll see you in the next video for that. Now that we've chosen our template for the thank you page, let's go ahead and edit the page. Okay, let's start from the top here. You could insert a logo here if you have one. So you could just click here and you could just upload your image here. But for now, I'm going to delete this since we don't have a logo. So it says here, wait, your purchase is not complete. Please follow the steps below to complete your purchase. So usually what I would do, step one, I would say something like, check your email. And then in the description here, let's just delete this here. I'll just tell them to check their inbox. Here, let me just type it down here. Please, please check your inbox folder and your spam folder. 
click on the confirm button to ensure that you receive future updates. So I would say something like this. I don't have the text right now that I usually put, but it would be somewhere along the lines of this, where you ask the customer to check their email and to confirm their subscription and to ensure that they have the correct email address on our database so that they could receive future updates for this product. Okay, and then step number two, it could be anything here. You could, for this demo, let's just say download your product. Okay, and then you could type down whatever you want here. You could also put a link right here to the download file. Okay, you could also put it here on the button and you could also edit this button. It says button text here, so instead of saying click here to register, you could say click here to download or to activate, whatever you want to say. And then edit the action, so what's the action you want when they click on the button. And again, you could put a link to the file wherever it is. And for now, let's just click save. And now step three, if you don't have anything to say, you could just delete this. So let's just delete step three. And step four, it says check your email. I've already gone through that. So we're just gonna delete this as well. Sometimes I have as many as five or more steps on here. But for this demonstration, I'm just gonna show you the two steps that you could put on your thank you page. So let's delete this. And there you go. Now my funnel is complete. I hope you've enjoyed watching the videos and learning from them. And if you watched all these videos, you can see how easy it is to use ClickFunnels. There's not much of a learning curve. So I wish you the best of luck and uh, have fun creating your funnels.